And swimming in lane one, Alex Norris of Sycamore. Lane two, Margaret Fish of Indian Hill. Lane three, Sarah Tanner of Ursuline. Lane four, Danielle Jansen of Mason. Lane five, Jamie Barrett of Butler. Lane six, Amy Bello of Mercy. Lane seven, Caitlin Pratt Collins of Greenville. And lane eight, Katie Arlinghouse of Talawanda. Now, Rowdy, reminiscing back to when you won your 100 freestyle, maybe the most explosive start that I've seen to that day, at that point in yeah. time as uh, you really gained an advantage. And, and certainly the track start has become a, a, a much more prevalent start than it was in, in that era. Yeah. What, what, have you, what, what kinds of things have you seen that have most rebel, other than rule changes, uh, the cheating flip turn on backstroke <laughs> and all those types of things from, from our era, but what, what kinds of things uh, do you feel have most revolutionized the sport? Oh, boy, you got a day and a half? I know. There's, I I know. Mean, there's a lot Let, to... Let's just go with the swimming <laughs> the, uh, swimming portion of it as opposed to the training portion. Yeah, there's a lot to the sport now that, they, that didn't, what was not around. Obviously, Obviously money has... Obviously, the kick that we're seeing right there is a big part of it. Well, yeah, the, the, the dolphin kick underwater. Obviously, the strength training has come into play very much in the sport right. of swimming. I never lifted weights until I got to college. Sure. So that's a, that's a big part now of swimming I, you know I, I think you know obviously when you think about the starts and the, you mentioned it in a, in a couple races ago about the training the suit the suit yes that absolutely. has totally revolutionized this sport Danielle Jansen in lane four Rowdy is a sophomore from Mason High School uh, north of Cincinnati she's an excellent swimmer yeah. And, then, and she's looking real good right now. Uh, you know, Mike, halfway through, you could tell she was so strong in that first half. And then all of a sudden, you see the rest of the swimmer start to inch up on her. And this is where breaststroke is such an important part of a race because it can be the death now for so many. She's just barely hanging on. She had a good two-body length lead Margaret at the 100. Yep. Now. And here she comes. They're going to be coming in. They're going to have three swimmers coming in dead even at this 150. Sarah Tanner in lane three, Margaret Fish, and Danielle Jansen. Those two young Ladies train together. Tanner uh, has taken a slight lead. And they're battling. I'm sorry, that's uh, Jamie, Jamie Barrett. Barrett. Jamie Barrett and does seem to have a slight edge, guys. Right there with 25 yards left to go. About a half body lead. The thing is, though, she's breathing both perfect. sides. And at least she can see to her left. They can see each other. There's no question. Jamie Barrett. Barrett holds on. 206.67 followed by Margaret Fish. What a great second half for Margaret Fish. Five 100s. 206.72. Third place, Danielle Jansen. 207.02. Great swims. Yeah, it was. You know, Jansen took it out. You mentioned a second ago, Mike, about how strong she took it out. And then all of a sudden, she really started hurting a little bit on that breaststroke. But she came back really nicely. you got to remember, only about three-tenths of a second separated the top three swimmers. Very good race. My plan was to try and catch up on breaststroke because I knew that was one of my strong spots and just hold it at the free because I know those girls are really good freestylers. Did Christmas training have anything to do with it? You know, it did because I actually went out of town and I was training with another team, but I still did a lot of like rigorous training, so it helped a lot. All right, and do you train with the club team here? Yes, I train with Dane Raiders. And who's your coach? What, Kevin Walden. All right, what events are you looking forward to swimming at districts? Um, I'm looking forward to swimming 200 IM and 100 backstroke. And do you have any other events tonight? Um, 200 back. Well, good luck in those. Thank you. All right, and right there is David Albert, a senior from St. X, winning that 